everybody. Kitsune Aruri here and welcome to my channel. I have a pseudo blind box kind of toy coming up here. It's actually a review on a doll that I'm a little bit behind on because it should have happened somewhere before Easter but first I had to lay hands on one. Then I had to decide to pick that one up instead of something else that was a little bit more pressing. So yeah, I'm a little behind but that's okay. Um, after all, I, it's only, you know, the beginning of June when I'm doing this recording, and I needed it for Easter. Yeah. Anyhow, I had mentioned this before, I think, maybe. I've certainly seen some people mentioning them on channels. Um, but I felt a need to have this, not only for my doll collecting community, but also for the furry community. And I'd like to introduce you to the Barbie Cutie Reveal. Barbie Cutie Reveal um, is basically Barbie in a fursuit. Comes with, it should come with a complete fursuit in here. It is a poseable doll, which is kind of something I've been looking for because I've heard all about the made-to-move dolls, but laying hands on one in this area is pretty difficult to do. I think I've only seen them at Target. Nobody else ever has them in stock, and they're kind of a pricey doll, even at the most basic. So, I've kind of held off on doing that, because really, all I want to do is modify one. But, now we got this little darling to look at. Now, there were three, or four choices of doll that you can get. There's the rabbit, the panda, the cat, and the dog. Um, really wish there was a fox. What can I say? But, on a secondary option, even though it's pink, I went to find the rabbit. Now you're like, okay, well, how do you tell which one you're getting? Um, kind of easy. The, all the packages are the same, but if you look in the top, there's a hole that's showing you a little bit, and you can actually touch the fur right there, so you know which creature you're getting. Pink fuzz is obviously the rabbit. So that's why there's not much of a reveal there. The package, however, says hot and cold changes her makeup. I believe that's what it says, anyway. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> it's not my thing. In all likelihood, she's not going to have her makeup unless I decide she's cute enough to keep her as is. They come, she's supposed to come with 10 surprises and a pet as well. So it says here, try me. That's just the touch thing. Beyond that, let's go ahead and get her opened up before I run out of battery on that camera. So just cutting the tape, popping it open, I reach in and I get a big old handful of fluffy bunny. <laughs> and my good, it's kind of big really. Look at the size of the head on this thing. It is a full, like, sweatsuit kind of fursuit. It's got rubbery feet and rubbery paws. There's some little heart-shaped bean details going on there. The bottom, of course, says Barbie, because everything that's Barbie has to be branded, right? Is there anything else hiding in the bottom here? Oh, there are things in the bottom, certainly. Will you stand up on your own? Those feet make her stand up on her own, so that's a bonus. There's some paperwork here. For series one, showing each of the dolls, because they're outfits and pets. On the back, it explains that there are different secret things in packages. There are outfits that are reversible. She's got color change. I guess there's something you can do by pressing the head. Okay. And I guess the eyes are supposed to open and close too with heat and cold. Let's try something here. I'm not sure. I guess cold opens the eyes and heat closes them. Well, 
It doesn't seem to do a very good job, but then that's been the pattern for things lately. She can stand right there just a moment. Let's shake everything out the side of this package. That's all. Great big old tube. And there are one, two, three, four pouches. Let's go ahead and open these up. And then we'll let the doll out. This first package has a comb with a sponge on it so you can do the hot and cold thing. The next package is a pair of plastic bunny ears for the doll and a pair of blue boots with a lot of studs on them it looks like. This is some serious hikers there too. There's a lot of tread going on. Split back hard plastic. The purple package escaped. This is the pet bunny, which appears to have color change eyes. Let's see here. Maybe that's the one that the eye changes. It is. So it's the eyes on the bunny that can be closed or opened with heat and cold. As it cools off, the eyes open back up. Cute. And the last package has some an iridescent sparkly skirt for Barbie with a stretchy top. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, free Barbie from the constraints of her costume. Because uh, anybody who's ever worn a fursuit knows you can't breathe in them things, right? Okay. So let's have a look. We'll start with the head. And there's Barbie. The head has foam in it to hold its shape. I guess you're supposed to flatten it to make it a pet for your a pet bed. So here's her hair. Well, I like her hair though. She has some blue and pink stripes in her hair. Take off this very bulky rabbit costume. Can I take off her gloves. Yeah, the gloves are just uh, slip on, just like the Barbie shoes are. There we go. There's a rubber band making sure they stayed on. Take off her coat. And the rabbit suit flips inside out to be a rainbow coat. Like that. It's gathered here at the bottom. So there's her rainbow coat. Take off the rabbit feet here. Also, like the Barbie shoes, they're split at the back and rubbery. And this particular Barbie does not have high heel feet. She actually has flat feet. Take off this bottom part. Ooh, Barbie, you got a very inhuman shape. Now these are not reversible. She has kind of a bra top looking thing going on here. It's with the short neck. Let's fix this. There we go. So she is shoulder, elbow, hip, and knee really stiff and of course head 
a really, really basic Barbie, though. Um, looking at her, she doesn't have the normal Barbie shape, either. She's very flat, kind of like the, um, more like one of the teenagers. Definitely a difference between her and the old Barbies. I have an old Barbie to compare her to. I believe I do. Please uh, excuse the condition of this Barbie. Uh, she's just been found in storage, has been in storage for a long time. She's nearly 40 years old and needs a bath. Some of you who were around in the 80s may uh, recognize this particular Barbie. She is one of my two that I had growing up that were actual Barbies. Let's look at her body shape in comparison here. As we all know, there have been a lot of changes over the years. And this one is on the restore list, so don't freak out. Yes, yeah, she is in bad condition. Yes, yeah, so here's an original Barbie shaped body. Here's the current one. So yeah, they definitely thickened out her waist and everything, but uh, that girl got no butt. She got no hips, no nothing. <laughs> got better hair there. And that face has definitely changed too. So check out that 1980s face versus now. A little more realistic now, I'd say. But anyway, her, uh, I guess you would call them bra and underwear, are molded on. Has a Barbie stamp logo on the back. Just flip that skirt on to her. Yeah, this feet really have no shape at all. She doesn't even have toes, man. Poor dear. And her feet are very tiny now. So Barbie seems to be losing detail as they modify her. Which, I mean, it's great that they have different body shapes and everything. Options, that is. But losing details is not considered a feature. <laughs> yeah. There we go. She kind of looks like a cheerleader now. So, yeah. Raw Barbie. All in all, not too bad. Her head is oversized for her body. Um, kind of like the fudge bunny suit. It may stick her in it, leave her in it. I don't know. Or she may get modified a little bit. She certainly needs some outfits. Um, what we got here is okay. But, you know, she Barbie. She's supposed to have all the things, right? With those square feet, getting those boots on her is hard. Uh, there we go. So there she is. Um, the boots don't match the outfit in any way, shape, or form, but that's what they gave you. So that's what you get. And there she is with her pet bunny and her fursuit. So there you have it, a uh, Barbie cutie reveal. There she be. Um, it was okay. It's not a horrible thing. It's a very, very simple doll, so she's good for younger children. Uh, as far as collectors go, it was a unique change in some of the options that they give. So as a collector, she does have a spot for me, even though I don't particularly collect Barbie themselves. But... Yeah, okay, yeah, that's a get one. Get the one that's your favorite. Or if you want all of them, go for all of them. It does say Series 1, so I guess they plan more. I haven't seen a peep about it yet, though. So let's, we'll just hold our horses and see what they do and hope for a fox. Right? So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, share. I will flip a Barbie's hair at you. And... We'll be seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.